Today we are going to discuss the indications for sentinel lymph node biopsy in a patient with a malignant melanoma. For sentinel lymph node biopsy, the thickness of the malignant melanoma should be 0.8 millimeters or above according to the NCCN guidelines. For the exam, I would recommend using the NCCN guidelines uh, and use the cutoff of 0.8 millimeter versus the usually discussed one millimeter thickness. The other thing we need for a lymph um, node biopsy is to make sure we have a successful lymph scintography, which shows which lymph node basin you're going to attack. Now, if the patient has imaging or on exam, bulky lymphadenopathy or palpable lymphadenopathy, in this patient, you cannot do a sentinel lymph node biopsy because they would just need the lymph adenectomy. Now, if the melanoma is less than 0.8 meters, you can still do a sentinel lymph node biopsy according to the NCCN if they have any uh, aggressive behavior features such as they are having ulceration, their mitotic index is greater than one mitosis per millimeter square, or they are clock level four or five. In that case, you're justified to do a sentinel lymph node biopsy for a thin melanoma. Now, the other thing uh, to notice is that in cases of pregnancy, sentinel lymph node biopsy is not contraindicated. You can still do it. The only thing to know is you cannot use the isosulfan blue dye and you should rather use a technetium uh, dye. Now, the uh, lymph scintography is important for a malignant melanoma. This study is done in the preoperative uh, area. Uh, you send the patient to the radiology department and they get um, intradermal uh, technetium 99 radio label sulfur cola dye injected at the site of the lesion and then it gives you a scan. Now the scan identifies most likely where the draining lymph nodes are. It does not identify where metastatic disease is. It gives you a guide where you should perform the lymph node biopsy. Now you do that, this is then followed by using the uh, blue dye, such as the isosulfan blue dye or a methylene blue dye, which you are going to inject in the OR intradermally, not subcutaneously, at the site of the lesion. And then you are going to perform uh, the lymph node biopsy. Now in the operating room, you are going to be using a gamma probe. It increases your probability of finding the uh, lymph node when you have done both the radio label dye and the blue dye. And uh, uh, you remove any lymph node that is blue in color or looks abnormal to you. And then the goal is that the radioactivity that is being detected by the uh, detector should be dropped by 90%. Then you have done the lymph node biopsy. What are you going to send it for? You're going to send it for HNE staining or HMB45 staining. The other stainings that, that can be done are COX-10 and melon A. Thank you.